Um, I, have, I have a question for you to start yeah. the pod. Okay. That's a real that quick. That toothpaste is coming down, but. Oh. All right, so, yes. Fuck the toothpaste. Fuck I don't toothpaste. use that shit anyways. I have a question for you. It's a choice. Mm-hmm. Yes or no? Mm. Just a yes or no question. Do white lives matter? Do our lives matter? Do white lives matter? Some of them. Yeah, I'll say yes. Wow. Yeah, so, they do. So Kanye's not wrong. Wait, it's why don't we say silly to say that in in face of Black Lives Matter? Why don't we say our this is a conversation we have to have? Why don't we say <laughs> have enough people not done this this week to no. White Lives Matter? We or? need to do it. We're the only smart people on earth. We Fair. need to have All the right. conversation. Yeah. If we don't have yeah. it, then yeah. nobody's yeah. had yeah. it. That's a good point. Do our lives matter? Ours, yours, and mine. That's what we should be saying. Yeah. Our lives matter. In the grand scheme of things, yes. Because when you so. when you say um, this lives matter, that lives matter, Scooby Doo lives matter, whatever. <laughs> You really speaking? I don't think that's a question. Everyone, first off, we love dogs. We do love as, dogs as a, the, the species. We I'm love. I'm kind of going away from them. Fair enough, but um, we we do. We've decided that we love dogs. Oh, I've never heard anyone say a bad thing about Scooby Doo. As a whole, uh, well, the fucking lesbian chick. Oh no, it's almost a lesbian now. <laughs> she, she like what's next? She's gonna fuck the dog. Yeah, of course she was a lesbian. This is a slippery slope. What what's next? She's gonna have a crush on Scooby Doo himself. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? She's gonna marry Scrappy Doo. Oh man, Don't where fall. are we going with this? Huh? <laughs> first Little Mermaid, now Scooby Doo. What? Well, at first, I thought people had a problem with it because Scooby Doo wasn't in it, and I was like, okay. Let me let me guess. Dory was voiced by a lesbian. Disney, where are we going? Huh? Inside Out Two without Amy Poehler. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm fucking pissed off. <laughs> I'm mad at Disney. <laughs> this is not doing Scooby Doo. Oh yeah, you're right. It's on HBO. I'm mad at animation. It's HBO. Yeah, oh, it'll probably be good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's probably gonna be good. It's it's an adult series about Thelma. If HBO was a person, yeah, I would say it's my second best friend. Oh man. Okay. So first Spotify, second HBO. Oh yeah, HBO would be. Spotify third. knows me too well. Yeah. It, like yeah, it's it always does. there for me. It just knows. It just I, I have to press one button. They're like, oh, you want this? It's this time. Yeah, a little something. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, Spotify's the best. Yeah. HBO Max is pretty good, too. Survivor. Okay. Even when it's bad, it's like, man, you know, it's just had an off day. Yeah. You like the show? Still love you. You get it. You got a Survivor sheet or shirt? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I was remember One of my birthday too. presents. Yeah. That's sick. One of my favorite seasons, Heroes vs. Villains. Uh, who are those guys? Uh, my favorite, one of my favorite players of all time, Parvati. Parvati? It was a G, Parvati. Yeah. Oh, Named after a god. All right. Um, my former favorite player of all time, Russell Hines, who's like a big villain, who I think is a piece. I, if I watch it now, I wouldn't like him because yeah. he's a big piece of shit. But back when I was like, I'm, in the show. I'm a grunge lord or whatever. Yeah. I like, <laughs> oh, lord. I like the villain, man. <laughs> Edge lord. Edge lord, sorry. <laughs> What's a grunge lord? I don't know. I feel, I feel like it'd be so much. It's the people telling you name five Nirvana songs. Yeah. Whenever a, like a teenage girl wears a Kurt Cobain shirt. Pearl Jam. Yeah. <laughs> but, all right. <laughs> Um, it's just got a Kobe, who's like a, you know one of the originals. Um, Sandro, who's the first player to win twice. Oh, wow. alert. Coach, who's like one of the craziest people to ever be on the show. Tyson Apostle, who's cool, <laughs> good player, never won. Oh, he won late. He won Blood vs. Water too. Really, late. he looks like Damon. Um, Randy is like the oldest guy to ever win. He won because the season was bonkers. Uh, Rupert, who's like a classic pirate guy. Everybody knows him. Loves him. <laughs> Hey, uh, this show isn't real. Sari, <laughs> Sari, who I invited to my birthday party last year and didn't respond. Yep, I can't remember that. Yeah, mm-hmm. one of my all-time favorite players. Um, Amanda, who's just annoying. Um, Jerry, who who gives a shit? Who's the black guy to the top left? Uh, James. He's no. a grave digger. Okay, other left. Oh, James. Sorry, I'm used to looking at it yeah, in a mirror. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's James. He's a grave digger. Okay. Um, one of the dumbest people to ever be good on Survivor. He's won? No, he's never won. Um... He got voted out once with two immunity idols in his pocket. That sounds like he it's gets not. played by women. That, yeah, I feel like that's like uh, uh, losing a game with a couple timeouts left. Yeah, and you run out of time. Yeah, so he ran happen. out of time with three timeouts yeah. left. <laughs> actually, they gave him four timeouts, <laughs> and then he ran out of time. He's like he's like from the south. He's a grave digger, just not the brightest guy mm-hmm. socially. Um, so people keep him around. Incredibly, they incredibly strong. Yeah, like wins every challenge, does everything around camp. Mm-hmm. Cool guy. See, seems like he would be cool to hang out with. Yeah, though. just, just dumb as survivor. fucking survivor. Yeah, you can't be you can't be good at everything. You no. know, I a lot of the like strong guys never win. That's, that's why I'm f- afraid to go on. I feel like not having necessarily the the survivor skill set means you'd be a person I'd probably like to chill with. Yeah, I'd like to go grab a beer with. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you're not manipulative. You're a, a person I wouldn't I wouldn't enjoy hanging out with because you know there's no game to be played. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I got this cool Survivor shirt for my B-Day. That's sick. Um, what were we talking about, though? Scooby-Doo? 
Yeah. How do we, we get we to Survivor? We got a lot to get to, so let's, 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 get, let's, let's see what Steven Scooby do. How do we get to... Oh, we're talking about Best Friends. That's yeah. why. Were we? Yeah, because we said uh, Spotify, HBO... Oh, yes, yes. You said Survivor being number one. Okay. We're not that far. It's, we're like two minutes in, and we already forgot the yeah. conversation. We were high as hell, not going to lie. Um, but anyways, White Lives Matter. We agree. <laughs> That guy's no, had a hell of a week, huh? I think we should say our lives matter because I don't care about anybody else. Yeah, I think our My lives, life matters. Yeah. Our lives because... And, and really, not that much. It's also such a nothing statement, too. Our lives matter. If I were to sloganize this, I'd say our life kind of matters a yeah. little bit. Our life matters a little bit, but do better. Yeah. Do better so it matters more. Here's something interesting. You know, so we have cops... And then when there's gun violence, what do we say? Well, it, who could have stopped it? Oh, a good guy with a gun. Yeah. We, we have a good guys with guns, right? Aren't that, that's yeah. not what cops are yeah, supposed yeah. to be. They're supposed to be good guys with guns. Yeah. But we have now, now in this day and age, we have cops. And then aside from that, we have good guys with guns. We don't even really have the good guys with guns. We just, we're, we're calling for them. Though. Yeah. We need them. <laughs> but isn't that what the cops are supposed to be? Is the good guys with guns? Yeah. Well, I think once we realized the cops are bad guys, it was just like, oh, that, then we're fucked. Yeah. This is just, yeah. now we just have guys with guns. Yeah, make the police good again. Yeah. And ma- Mapga. Mapga. Make, make... Make police good again. Wait, where'd the A come from? Make a police good again. No, it's just... Make American Mapka. police good again. Okay. Mapga. Mapga. That's Make American... Every cop should See, be... See, here's the thing. They were never good. Uh, for a while, they were in the 90s, I think. No, no. Good to me. Yeah. They're sure. still good to me. You know, I'm going to do Diallo. You know, yeah. there's a bunch of people out there. I'd be like, ah, I don't think so. Yeah, but you know. You always forget you're talking to like a black dude that grew up in like Stop and Frisk. Yeah. Era of New York. Yeah. Policing. Yeah. They Listen, were never really good to me. As even, a, even like white kids I know growing up, some that have become cops were, were always fuck the police back in the day. Yeah. Um, as a horny young man, I was always a big fan of Stop and Frisk. I was always hoping it would happen to me. Oh, I'm hiding the gun in my pants. Look at my pants. <laughs> there's drugs in my pants, sir. Sir, there's some drugs oh, in the oh, front there, of my pants. Oh, there's something up there. You guys are going to have to check. A couple sir, nuts, I would say. There's a little cocktail we need. Yeah, you don't even need to use the... Yes, I'm boofing heroin right now. You have to get out of there. Dude, I would love to get molested by a cop. Okay, uh, yeah. I, I got to edit that out. Yeah, I don't know why I, I said that. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I'm attracted to power. No, I, was, I think leave it in. <laughs> I'm attracted to a man in uniform. <laughs> Who's that offensive to? Um... I don't know, people that were molested. By cops? Yeah, maybe. It's very specific. But I think people that were molested by cops um, usually go on, like 98% of them go on to become the president. <laughs> that's what I read on TikTok. So that's pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> We got to just do a segment where it's Matt's TikTok facts. You can just get all <laughs> these out at once. <laughs> so I don't have to be unprepared for them throughout the entire show. Well, really, to be honest, I don't really ever go on TikTok. And if I ever I need a backup claim, I just say I saw it on TikTok. Okay, yeah, yeah. That works. Because it kind of works. That works. You know? That does work. Because who's to say you haven't seen it? Yeah. There's trillions of TikToks out give there. Give me a sect of society. Yeah. I think I'm about to start a different one. No, give me a sect of society. Oh. An example. Like uh, Mad Libs. Uh, little Indian people. You let know 98% of little Indian people are gay. Really? Yeah. I read that on TikTok. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Bisexual Australians. What do you mean little Indian people? I was like, saying little people who are Indian. Oh, the M word. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Australian bisexuals. Um, yeah. <laughs> 98% yep. of Australian bisexuals have been bitten by a spider. Ooh. Isn't that crazy? That's good. Yeah. I think you have to use a different number for it to be believable every time. No, it's always 98%. 98%. It's always very hot. 98% of my body, fat. Okay, uh, Italian fascist. Ninety-eight mm, percent of Italian fascists love pizza. <laughs> I, read, I read that on TikTok. Isn't that crazy? I mean, the last two. That's actually probably accurate yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Oh, so is the Australian. It's getting bit by a spider. Probably. Yeah. Um, good facts, man. Thank you. I like TikTok facts. I want to do this every week. Now. Thank you. Thank you. TikTok this, this facts. Is good. This is good. No cap. <laughs> 98% of no caps um, are for baldness, are to cover baldness. Yep. Do yarmulkes count as hats? Yes. They do? They are hats. Because uh, hmm. we weren't allowed so to wear maybe, hats in school. Maybe religious headwear, which I feel like might be a different thing. Yeah, because when I see a guy in a yarmulke, I don't go, look at that guy's hat. Yeah, or like a guy in a turban. It's like kind of a hat, If you're, it's it's got meaning to it. That yeah, that's less of a hat, I think. Even yeah, it's well, it's a head wrap. That's but it's a religious thing with it. That's what I'm saying. Religious do, headwear, I think, covers it all. Do you think when Jews are trying to be cool, they turn their yarmulke backwards? They do this with their head. 
Do you think they turn it sideways? <laughs> Do you think the gangbangers in Iraq turn their turban sideways? <laughs> yeah. I do too. It'd be a pretty tough look too. Well, because I'm thinking like the, the old school turban with like uh, Johnny Quest and Haji and he had like the jewel in the front. I have no idea what you're You never about. seen Johnny Quest? No. Disney oh. movie? No, it was like a cartoon in the 60s, but they used to replay it on Cartoon Network. It was about like this white kid who was like a spy and uh, his boy Haji. I know, Kim Possible. No, oh, yeah, it's not Naked bad. Naked mole rat. But uh, yeah, he had like a turban that had like a jewel in the front, so I'm thinking if you turn it to the left and you see the jewel on the left, it's kind of like Chicago gangs with how they wear their hats. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, it'd be good. Isn't it crazy nowadays that with fucking Gen Z, we got to de- we got to decipher what, what jewel you're talking about? A ruby? Or vape? <laughs> singer? <laughs> or the singer? Yeah, it was in 90s. Hey, back in my day, jewel was a singer. Yep. With bad teeth. And yeah, she fixed them though. And now it's a fucking thing that's going to give you bad kinda teeth. Kind of crazy. Yeah, good point. Wow, full circle. Let's it's kind of crazy she was that big with bad teeth. Yeah, but she was incredible. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure, but just like... The 90s really liked ugly and, and weird. Yeah. I mean, corn was the biggest band. Yeah. Heroin chic was the fashion thing. Yeah. The people who look like they're on. I mean, Alanis Morissette, as good as she is, has a weird voice. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I, I, it's, it's less about the voice, though. It's more about the emotion and, like, uh, you know. I guess we've always kind of rewarded that distinct, uh, unique voice. Unique quality. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of gone all the way through now that I think about it. For sure. Because it just sets you apart. Yeah. You know? It's like Little Yachty is. A very successful rapper. Yeah. He has a, he had the weird thing he was doing when he came out. Will you do that Chinese accent you've been practicing? <sighs> yeah, I'll do it. Oh. I'll do it. You ready? Yeah. No. Okay. I was talking to, uh, fuck, who was it? I don't remember. Hershey's or... Travi Tuvig? Sithic. I don't remember. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, whoever it was. Wait, you guys are DMing each No, other? it was on Instagram. Yeah, I DM everybody on Instagram. Wow, okay. We go private. <laughs> um, <laughs> now He's I want to look it up because I feel bad that I forgot who it was. Yeah. Um, oh, I think it was Nick. It was Nick, and he. We were saying that um, we should do. We should remake like how they're remaking all our movies and mm-hmm. putting you guys in them. We should. Uh, <laughs> we should remake ba- black movies, but with white people. Our movies. Soul Plane. <laughs> yeah, I'd but do it with white people. Just be like fifteen white chicks. Compl- You'd never get to the actual. Yeah, but you can't. You guys be compl- it would never take the plane. Never takes off. That's it's, the movie. You know what it's Actually, called? I'm down to write this. You know what it's called? Grounded. Spirit Airlines. Soul Plane. <laughs> Soul Plane Two. Grounded. Soul Plane, but it's S O L E. Yep. I don't know if that's funny. Oh, Soul Plane. P L A I N. Yes. Because it's so boring. Yeah. Yep. Friday, where they just go to work. Yep. This isn't. This isn't the seat that I paid for. Just everyone's just confused about what's on their ticket. Yeah. But it's still like a black crew, so they get yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, that'd be a very short movie. Yeah. 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 They'd be like, uh, you guys have to get off. Yeah, you're, you're off the plane. Yeah. You're off the plane. I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Yeah. You're off the plane. And then uh, in the end, all the employees go to jail and the white people get yeah. flown to their destination. Ooh, well, it's, it's the one plane that didn't make it to January 6th. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. They were, they were too much, too uh, rowdy to go to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Storming the Capitol. Instead of the plane having hydraulics, um, what's funny there? Uh, instead of the plane having hydraulics, you, you just listen to, not Glenn Beck, what's his name? Rush Limbaugh the whole time. Sure. Six hours of Rush. Sure. The whole way through. It's not purple. Yeah. It's like JetBlue where they have TVs, but only Fox News. Yeah. All right. And, and, not, and not the libs on Sunday morning. We're talking I, about just Tucker. I think this Tucker could, the whole time. I think this could sell. Yeah. <laughs> What other black movies are there? Uh, how about we redo, like, I don't know. I said Friday, but they just go to work. <laughs> they just go to their job. <laughs> they go into the office. Hey, how you yeah, doing? Yeah, they didn't get fired for... Hey, TGIF. Yeah, they didn't get fired for uh, a phantom theft. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen Friday? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no idea what it's the about. The whole movie starts with Craig getting fired from his job because they said he stole something. Oh. Uh, but then as you go throughout the movie, you're like, Craig would never steal. This is crazy. So this is how the white Friday starts. Which is which? It, I think it's just still. It's like, hey, Jim, something's missing. He's like, friend. no, it's not. It's like, all right, I'm coming to work. You're right. Yep. <laughs> I believe you. And then they go, I think it was Kevin, and they yeah. turn, yeah. and Kevin's the black guy. <laughs> he gets fired, but he's uh, not in the movie Dwayne, anymore. Uh, yeah. yeah. I try not to do a stereotypical black name. Got, it's funnier. I try to be woke, but you gotta do like funny stereotypical black names. Yeah, Jamal is not funny. No, anymore. Jamal. Like, Jerome is not funny no, anymore. Javon's funny. Javon, sure. Yeah. Any ja kind of feels hacky though. Yeah. Dwayne is a really good. Dwayne's one. good. Dwayne's good. What's like a young Malik. Malik's good. It's like a nigga named Rico. I think it's funny. Yep. Rico. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> I 
think black people should start <laughs> using more white names. It's funny. Yeah, it's but it's like I don't know. It's that's a tough one. Matt, like Matt. What do you name my son Hank? How annoying is my name? Matt. Matt. Well, when you Matt, you sound like a fucking Morgan. Anything you say like that's bad. No, because you say Morgan. Plus, well, I don't know. Like it's not good. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not even doing that. I'm just saying Matt. Matt. I'm not changing my voice at all. Just Matt. <laughs> you are like going. A, right. It sounds like a duck. I'll try and say it better. Matt. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it does suck. When Morgan. You say it. You're right. Morgan. Yeah. Morgan. Mm-hmm. Um. Hormos. Steven. Steven. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking duck named me, man. My mom was doing the Pringles thing where she put two things in to look like a bill. And they said, what do you want to name your son? She's like, <laughs> all right. That is a name. It's Matthew? in the Bible. I like Matthew. Matthew's good. Can you call me Thew? Uh, no. Good. It's hard to like, say. Yeah, there's a reason that hasn't taken off, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's a tough one. <laughs> I call you Ganny. Ganny boy. I, I, I don't hate it. Knuckles, Smogly. I don't, hate, I don't hate Ganny. Ganny? Yeah, Ganny. You don't look like a Ganny, though. No, that's but, it's like, but that's like uh, if you... Your personality's not a Ganny. No. My personality's barely a Morgan. It's No, it's very Morgan. It's because we don't know... You don't know that many. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I get to make it my own. But I, I do think that you're like... You, what you're named kind of helps define your personality. For sure. Yeah. Like if, if was, you were named something else, your personality I, would be yeah, at least a little a, bit different. If I was a David, I think I'd be like a little bit more boring. Yeah. My dad wanted to name me Aaron. My mom was like, you're, "You'd you're, be different if you yeah, were here." My mom was like, "You're done here." She's like, "You want to name after the father that you, you didn't really know?" Like, no. My mom tried to name me Fonda Lisa. <laughs> Fonda Lisa. Fonda Lisa. Fonda Lisa. Okay. And my dad was like, "No, no." Actually, my dad wasn't there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, they oh. decided on Matt. Matt. Yeah. Matt, Matt this works, is dude. this is my family: Josh, Becky, Matt, Dan. <laughs> Josh, Becky, Matt, Becky's Dan. A star. Yeah, she really is. Yeah. She gets two yeah, syllables. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking women. They get everything. <laughs> Joshua, Rebecca, Daniel, Matt. Oh, that's funny. You have a nice family. So boring, the names. But I kind of like that. Yeah, it's it's tradition. Define yourself. You know, don't let your name define you. And you know what defines me now? My last name. Lockwood. Daddy. Drew. Well, that's... Or my middle name, yeah. Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Well, happy. It's today's October tenth. Tweet. Uh, I see. No, we'll wait. We'll get to it. What? It's been. It's been a tough week for our guys. Who? Kanye and Draymond. Oh yeah. You know. Both kind of self inflicted. We love adversity. <laughs> we we learn from it. <laughs> we go through it. We'll be fine. I. Uh, White lives matter. And Jordan Poole's a bitch. No, you didn't see the last one. No. What? The last Kanye tweet. No. We saw him going DefCon three on the Jews tomorrow. Listen, we go through adversity. <laughs> Wait, we deal with adversity. Did you really not see this? No, I, I have you're, been. You're off. You've been not off. online for a couple oh, days. Okay, good for you. Uh, yeah, let me just get the full tweet because it was pretty alarming. All right, not yeah, that alarming because uh, I heard he got kicked off of Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after after Elon was so said so happy to have you back. Damn. Immediately got kicked off. Damn. Where is it? He said. I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going DEFCON 3 on Jewish people in all capitals. The funny thing is I actually can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew also. You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who opposes your agenda. Interesting. Now, what's funny about this is <laughs> in a couple of years, I'm going to clip that without you saying this is Kanye's tweet. <laughs> no, that's going to live forever. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know, let's let's at least hear the man out and see what he has to say and not put any judgment on him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, it's just, it's, here's why it's funny. Because I saw certain people acting like this is violence against Jews. It's like, it, for should he be saying this? Absolutely not. It's yeah. anti-Semitic for sure. But when he says DEFCON 3, he means he's just going to script Photoshop or fo- screenshot a bunch of conversations he's having with Jewish people yeah. and put them on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what's he gonna do? He's not violent. Yeah. Also, let's like uh, just let the man be mentally ill in peace. Sticks and stones can break my. We can bones. let people be mentally ill in peace. I think we should start. Yeah. If you're, I having, mean, it's hard to let him do it in peace when he's all over the internet. No, for sure. But you know, let's just. All right, you said that. Uh, no more for you for a little bit. To yeah. you, to you, uh, straighten out. Um, sticks and stones can break my bones. They will not overtake us. You know how crazy it is that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That replace us. Thank you for not glossing <laughs> past that completely. Oh, for sure. I, I had to send in. But it's just so wild. They will not replace us. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. 
For Kanye to get kicked off of... Uh, Sticks and stones can break our bones. They will not replace. No no one's uh, asking for Kanye to come back like they were for Trump after he started a riot at the Capitol. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I don't know. You gotta do a lot. He, he, you know, R.I.P. Kanye, I guess. The Kanye that we knew. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's having a rough go of it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> we all make mistakes. <laughs> It's it's it's. It's gotta not, be crazy to be him, though, man. Yeah, it has to be so crazy to be him for sure. But I think even as crazy as it was to be that person, I'd still like. I don't know. You don't I, know. I don't know, but I I'm, I'd like to hope. Yeah, that I would be. If I was able to say all the wild shit, I yeah. think and think I could get away with all of it, I'd say it all. Like <laughs> that's just me being like Puerto Rican people are ruining the internet. It's true. Yeah, they will not hold me back or censor my tweets or thoughts anymore. I am a genius. It's like, true. That's, it's so wild. Asians are taking our women. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically what he's saying. He's just like, <laughs> he's like, what's the most baseless racist thing I could say? Yeah. Boom. Yeah, I mean, you know, I understand Jews are a little extra sensitive yeah. ever since the. Yeah. 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 Um, For sure. And you, you can't really go after them online. Well, no, it's just, you know, <laughs> maybe if you were specific about the people that you were angry at. Sure. Like, he was just pretty specific, though. <laughs> Isn't it? You also can't use language like DEFCON 3. Yeah. That's, it's death or death? Death. Death? Yeah. Like, like dead? Yeah, kill him. Because the real phrase is DEFCON. Oh, he wrote death. <laughs> How can you take him seriously? Though? I don't, but it's just like, oh, yeah. See, my issue is, is I, I've always loved defending Kanye, everything he does. The, yeah. the MAGA stuff I love defending. It's just fun. When, yeah. you, when you say you're going <laughs> to DEFCON 3 the Jews, it's yeah. like, I, I, yeah. you're on your own, buddy. Yeah. I can't join this. I saw a tweet the other day from like four years ago that was like, uh, don't don't get too big on defending Kanye now because it's going to yeah. come real. H Man had some points real soon. I I just and, think and we're there. It's like a fun exercise to do. Yes, that's why I it's like mental it. gymnastics for it's, sure yeah. to see how I can to possibly defend this nut jobs. Yeah, it yeah. it really yeah it really keeps me sharp for future arguments because yeah. a lot of people it's hard to argue with an idiot and so when you are figuring out how to defend an idiot yeah. Those principles translate over to when you're right. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it's such good practice. Yeah. And all you have to do is call him a genius. Yeah. And yeah. Then, and then you're fine. Yeah. And, be and like, if, if, if you don't want to call him a genius, be like, hey, yeah. the guy's clearly mentally ill. Um, you're just not paying attention enough yeah. to what he's saying. <laughs> he's just not articulate. <laughs> you know how many times I've said that to people? No, you know how many times I've yelled that at people? Yeah. <laughs> the yelling helps. <laughs> For sure. This past weekend, before the Jew tweet I did. Oh, uh, yeah. I was in a green room with somebody. Like The Jew no, tweet was rough. Yeah. I didn't know he did that. <laughs> funny and uh let's just talk about the punch real quick the punch scene around the world yeah uh people, i'm on draymond's side interesting side to choose people need to stop calling it a sucker punch that's kind of pissing me off why because it's not a sucker punch if you push someone and then don't look like that's not the end of the interaction sucker punch is walking up when someone's not paying attention and hitting them richard, yeah. richard spencer yeah sure but sucker yeah punch. for sure he got sucker punch but if you push someone and then you're like, all right, it's over. I'm not paying, like, time out. I'm not paying attention anymore. And that's not a sucker punch. Yeah. You you started the invitation to violence. Yeah. Yeah, we're team Draymond. Trade Jordan Poole. <laughs> I just don't like him because he went to Michigan. Jordan Poole balled the fuck out the other night, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> so funny. It's going to get real funny around there if he doesn't sign the extension, extension by the 17th. Because then They'll be like, fine. They're the Warriors. Yeah, they are the Warriors. They'll be fine. Right. Yeah, they got James Wiseman coming back. He yeah. looks great, too. They're, they're good um, they can afford to lose day yeah. day. And uh, the Mets loss, I'm sorry. Made a rough go of it. Yeah. You want to talk about how much you hate playoff baseball? Um, First off, a 0-0 zero, a zero, zero game in the playoffs is great. That's an insane thing to say. <laughs> no, it's not. That's one of the worst things I've ever no, heard come out of your the, mouth. No, because the tension that's building the whole... Well, okay. It's great after like the seventh inning. And once it goes into extras. That's awesome. That's a good baseball game. Sure. So more than half the game sucks. No, none of the game sucks. Because now everything... In the regular season... If you it's 0-0 zero, zero in the 7th, you're you like, watch, this is a good you game. You watch it a pitching duel. Yeah, for sure. It wasn't a pitching duel. They kept changing pitchers. Oh, uh, yeah, it sucks. If, if it's two hey, pitchers hey, hey, dealing. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't watch the game. I did. I didn't. I this actually did a Saturday college football was on. You know what I did is my roommate's a, a baseball guy. Yeah. So he has it on in the 7th or 8th or 9th or 10th or 11th. I don't remember. Ah, this is fun. This is cool. I go grocery shopping. Run some errands. Get a car wash. Yeah. Run to the airport. Fly to New York. Fly back. <laughs> 
visit family, go to my grandpa's funeral. Mm -hmm. I come back, 14th inning, still 0-0. Yeah. Crazy. That's That's crazy. Yeah, that's a good game, though. It's lots of For baseball, it's a good game. Yeah. For baseball, it's a good game. For baseball fans, it's a good game. For just regular sports fans, I'd be like, what the fuck are you watching? I like playoff baseball, man. And I get that. I do get the, what what are you doing here? This sucks. Yeah. It's like watching a 0-0 football game. No, 0-0 football game is kind of fun. More fun than that. Oh, for sure. But they both have, so... Uh, at least when you're watching like a zero zero baseball game, you're watching like one unit of a team like dominate. Like oh, they're, like both teams pitching are awesome. Zero zero football game, you're watching a lot of bad football. Yeah, like there's been some silly shit that's gotten into zero zero. Yeah, like the Thursday night game, it was just all field goals. That yeah. was so much fun toward the end. Toward the end, yeah, because it stunk. But I want the whole game to be good. Yeah, I want the whole game be good. Yeah, you know we can't get that all the time. Yeah, football's we're, fun. I though. guess we're too spoiled. Yeah, Last football's fu- not fun. Football's football's fun. the worst sport in America. No, I'm over it. I'm never watching football. <laughs> for you, my team's four and one, baby. Twenty nine to zero. Yeah, that's a tough scene. Um, to a third string quarterback. Yeah, though, so it's fine. I'm, d- I'm done betting on the Lions too. Can Listen I say now, this? Man, if, if you guys ever see me placing a bet on the Lions, fucking say something to me immediately. Well, you're about, you're about to win hundred dollars on them. Yeah, it's true. Um, so we have a friend that's a Patriots fan. And yes. Yeah. So he doesn't say anything to me before the game. No, nothing during the game. Thought they're going to leave. Or lose. Their they, quarterback's Billy Zappi. They're up 29-0 in the fourth. Yeah. Halfway through the fourth, and he starts texting. Hits me to go fuck yourself. I was like, <laughs> are you kidding me, dog? That's not how you talk shit, you <laughs> dumb motherfucker. I was like, I, I said, cool cool text, dog. That's how Boston people talk shit. Yeah. I, I was like, you wait till the game's <laughs> in the bag, yeah. and then you run your mouth? You fucking loser. Get him. All you have to do is say one thing to me before yeah, the game, yep. and then when you win, yep. come after me, yeah. and I'll take it all. Yep. But you don't come after no, 29 no. nothing in the fourth, or, and you yeah. come and talk to me, bro? Relax. Yeah. yeah. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Go to, yeah, cool text, bro. I'll have my revenge. Find yeah. Anthony Amarello on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> tell him the Patriots suck. Yeah. Tell him the Patriots suck so much ass, yep. and you're embarrassed Please. by them. Were they fourth in the division? Trash-ass team. They might be better than that, actually. I think they're three and two. The Jets are three and two, too. Damn. Yeah, so they're tied for fourth. And the Dolphins are three and two. Okay. Well, and the well, the Dolphins. Dolphins got two are coming back. Who's the other team? The, in Bills. the Bills. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're juggling out. Um, is two coming back? I think so. I'll tell you this. I have uh, Jonathan Taylor in my, on my fantasy team. We'll do a quick fantasy talk. Don't get me started about that. But yeah. <laughs> so Jonathan Taylor gets injured. <laughs> I have Naheem Hines already. Right. Oh. Buddy. Start him. Concussion the first quarter. Yeah. I have Tua. Yeah. I go, okay, two is out. I get t- I'll get get Teddy Bridgewater. I yeah. start Teddy Bridgewater, concussion the first yeah. quarter. That's I had scene. one player out of 14, one player get double digits this That's week. a tough scene. Brutal. That's tough. Brutal, brutal, yeah. brutal. Especially because, like, all those concussions were, like, live, too. Yeah. They I were, like, to, on TV. I got to watch them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, last thing about Kanye. Um, yeah, he shouldn't be body shaming anyone, but let's not look over the fact that's absolutely hilarious. Uh, him telling Lizzo her life is unhealthy when he got two liposuctions. He did? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's just telling her she should get one. <laughs> or two or three or four or five. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dog. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Little bit of self-awareness. I'm all for body positivity, but being fat is still funny. Yeah. Let's call people fat still. I think we do. Only if they're not sensitive. Mm, who's fat that's not sensitive about it? If you want to be fat, be fat, but we're, we're going to call you fat. But who's fat that's not People mock me for it. being tall and handsome all the time. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's fine, dog. That's fine. I don't give a fuck. Oh, fucking. So Saturday I went to a party, right? Is that like a club? It was like a reggaeton party. So I'm with Cher and somebody else, a couple other people. But me and Cher get there together. We're walking in and uh, the lady, she's like scanning the ticket things. And she's like, oh, Cher, you look great tonight. Have a wonderful time. She was like, thank you. I was like, oh, sick. We're telling people they look nice. Sick. She gets to me and she goes, have fun. Damn. I was like, what? <laughs> Maybe you didn't look that good that night. I looked fine. Maybe Cher was shining. Cher was looking great, but either way. Do you what? believe what? in life what? after love? Why, why are you going to give? <laughs> you look great tonight. We're clearly we're walking in together. You got to earn it, dog. We would have fun, yeah. You got to earn it no, sometimes. No, it definitely set me back. Um, Fucked yeah. up my mental for a little bit. That'll get you slugging your shoulders in the yeah, club yeah, for a honestly, little bit. Yeah, honestly, first wave, five minutes, your boy was not up. Damn. <laughs> It was tough. All right. Uh, today is October 10th. One day away from Tuesday the 10th. I know, dude. I was so thinking about close. doing something. We should have like a... No, no. Like every other Tuesday the 10th where it's like Tuesday the 11th, we could do something too, but it's okay. Let's just wait. It's more special. You're right. You're right. You're we right, get right. one in June. You're right. Yeah, I know. Um, happy birthday to the Iraq War. <laughs> 
October 10, 2002 <laughs> is when we signed the... Hey, I like this better. <laughs> Birthdays to certain things. Well, I mean, it's a no, happy no, anniversary. I, I love the mixing it up, though. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> George Bush, I mean, don't attack our towers, you know? Or... <laughs> Don't get blamed for attacking. Yeah, they're our like, towers. we did it, dog. Yeah, it wasn't us. It's one of you three. <laughs> Iraq, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, four, I guess. Yeah. We're going to find you. We're going to bomb all four of your countries. Yeah, kill like over a million people. Like, the, or I think it's way more than that, right? This is like when someone in your class fucks up and the teacher goes, everyone's going to stay inside for recess until yeah. you tell me who it is. Yeah, we're like, we, you know who did it. Yeah. yeah. We're like, no, we don't. We're going to kill you all. Yeah, he slapped you in the face. You had to have seen that. If any of you have children, we're going to bomb them. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, oh, the- and then surprise, surprise. You know who did it? The teacher. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or the teacher's assistant, who's actually the teacher. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Teacher's assistant, Cheney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what do you call them? Like, chains or something like that? I forgot the nicknames. Big Dick. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Um, and then he came in on the plane like a year later. He was like, mission accomplished. It was like, oh. We'll I, think, I think Reggie Bush did 9 11. What? What? You don't like that? I mean, it's pretty funny. It's, <laughs> I think Laura Bush did 9 Laura Bush is funnier. Um, Barbara Bush. I think Bush, uh, the band. That's Travis. Funny. There we go. What's his name? Travis Scott? Travis Stanley? No, no it's not Travis. Gavin McCoy? Gavin, Gavin Mac- Rossdale. Gavin Rossdale, yeah. Um, Glycerin. Bro, his Woodstock 99 performance yeah, with his beautiful, shirt off. Beautiful, Ooh, beautiful. I check off to yeah. that shit. Hey, I get the heroin chic now. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. He was looking good. I know. Maybe we should do heroin, man. Who's we? Me and God. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think I want. You don't want to do it. No, I'm Why? Good. It, it oh, looks... you're more of a crack guy. <laughs> <laughs> Any of the ones that got you on the street, I'm I'm good on that. But you can do it and live in a house. You just got to be able to afford it. Yeah, uh, you gotta be rich. I don't think heroin's that expensive. You, you got to either... be able to stop. Is the problem? No, you just got to be able to to steal your parents' microwave. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to do. That's the difference between like heroin and crack addicts. Crack addicts still get up, they'll go steal a microwave. Heroin addicts kind of just oh, lay in there. Yeah, I need a microwave. Yeah, yeah. I'm hungry even though I can't eat. Addiction's scary, man. Yeah. yeah. What are you addicted to? Love. You think so? Yeah. Um. All right. Mm-hmm. Just leave it right there. <laughs> I think you're addicted to Chilling. being a good friend. Yeah, I do love that. I love being a good friend. Do you? Yeah. What's the meter at? Three and a half. Really? Yeah. Nothing, nothing, no good stuff recently? Big snafu last week. Yeah, for sure. Hand um, up, I apologize. And then just not a lot of uppers, you know? Yeah. 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 Yeah, maybe three. I think he's a little low. It is. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if people remember that episode. That was a fun episode. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, it was really yeah, it was good. That was, was a good, good episode. <laughs> That's a really good one. <laughs> that is me when I'm uh, being sorry and trying to move past something. Just kind of uh, mumbling uh, the really right. right. yeah, it was, uh, uh, You know. Uh, um, bring back the Iraq war. Also, <laughs> happy birthday to Fiji. The country? The, the islands of Fiji. They signed their independence today. Who used to, I'm going to guess the British. Um, I would say something like that. I had to be or, the British because they don't speak Spanish or um, Portuguese. No, let's look it up. New Zealand. Oh, it's near New Zealand. Yeah, I was going to say, they, New Zealand didn't own it. Let's see. Um, humans have lived on Fiji, Austronesians, and Melanesians. Ew, Melanesians sounds like a disease. Um, it was a crown colony? What does that mean? Probably something with Europe. Uh, we, yeah, it was us. Yeah, British was Empire. Us. Yeah, we, we. No, it was us. Until it gained independence. US, uh, no, this says it was a crown colony until 1970, and then it signed its independence. Oh, in from the British, sorry. I saw the U.S. first. It oh. says the United States recognized Fiji independence in October. We, in, we recognized it. Yeah. That's because we're good guys. How fucking bold do we have to be for a foreign land to be like, well, we recognize you as independent? Like, fuck us. We're, we run the shit, you know? Yeah. We're like, <laughs> you got to say it more confidently when you say we, that. Uh, we are, we're the, we, uh, uh, we're we're the guys we, who we, actually uh, run. Uh, mm-hmm. It's yeah, us. We're the motherfuckers in jail who are like, listen. I see you, you know? You're no longer that, now you're this. Mm-hmm. And we say it because we're in charge. <laughs> we're just the bullies, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, shout out Fiji, where they film Survivor every year now. So. Oh, really? Where do it used to be? Um, they used to travel. They used travel to different. themed travel locations, and then they just bought 
They're um, like the the fucking themes don't matter. The yeah. blah 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 doesn't matter. We, let's just get this place. Yeah, let's buy. How much you want for this? Thirty million. Yeah, cool. Yeah, they own land on Fiji now, That's and sick. they just do it. It's every time it's there. Yeah. So, and um, some of my favorite water. Fiji water is pretty good. A lot of comedy clubs for some reason have Fiji water. I think because it's cheap and it makes them look fancy. Yes, I was gonna say it was like the first fancy water. Yeah. And then Voss came out with the glass bottles and kind of shit on that. Yeah, but those are too big. Yeah. But, those, nice but those are the ones you get in, like, in clubs and stuff. They bring I, you over a bunch of Voss. I love getting Fiji water because it doesn't fit in any fucking cup holder I've ever owned. <laughs> it's, it's really silly. It's crazy it's as popular as it is. <laughs> you can't bring it anywhere. You can't bring it anywhere. You can, it's hard to hold. It's hard to drink. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. Yeah, it, it does taste good. It does and they, taste got, good. they got that cool graphic it in looks the background, cool. which is like, that will always set you up. It looks cool, which makes it taste fresh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You ever drink out of a 7-Eleven water bottle? I'm doing it right now. Life water. No, but Actually, 7-Eleven has. Oh, yes. Yes. Their own water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I feel poor, work. man. Yeah. You leave there. There's holes in your shirts. Mm-hmm. I like uh, the, dirt under your fingernails. Yeah, the nice little pH balance ones are like 50. No, maybe not even 50 cents, like 40 cents, depending on what you're getting. What's yeah. more than the 7-Eleven water. And, you know, it works. Um, I'll say this. I, I detest drinking out of cups. Why? Here's what I'll do. I like the red Coca-Cola cups. You ever have those? Yes. They're tall. Yes, yes. Anything out of that yeah. tastes better. I 100%. like um, when I go drinking, I need it plastic. Red Solo cup, I'll say, or the plastic cups we you're serve. Not, you're not a fan of glass? I hate glass. <laughs> I hate drinking out of glass. I hate Todd Glass. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not a glass guy. Plastic. Or you know what I love? Drinking water out of coffee mugs. That's not bad. Or wine or liquor. Uh... I'd like a nice rocks glass when I'm drinking like uh, some whiskey or some. Bourbon. Oh, you fancy fuck! Makes me feel. Yeah. It's, no, it's, give me, your fingers get cold. Ah, <laughs> it's not that big of a problem. Yeah. Just set it down. I like. Uh, I got sensey things. If I'm at like a pub, I could do. I like a nice glass mug, like a pint glass, when I'm drinking beer. Oh, a Stein. No, not a Stein. It doesn't have to be a Stein. Steins are great. But I'm just talking about just like a nice pint glass, like the one that told you. Oh, a pint glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Those Whatever. Are great. Those no, are no, no. Those are good. I like those. Oh, give me plastic. I will say this. I prefer... I like sh- to chew on my I, cups. I prefer shots out of plastic glasses. Plastic cups. Interesting. Yeah. That's what I'll drink out of glass. Yeah. A shot. Shots. Yeah. No, I like it in a plastic cup because there's way more variance than what you're getting. You're really taking a risk there because a shot glass oh, is like sure. a set amount. You know what I mean? Sure. When I have a plastic cup, you're, you're deciding how big the shot is. What if it's a big shot it. glass? Oh, those are... I mean, yeah, whatever. But give me a plastic cup. You know what I miss drinking out of? Let's take a plastic cup, take it to the head, destroy this. I never even want to think about this shot again. Yeah. And we're out. I have a riddle. Okay. I miss yeah. drinking out of this. And also, since getting a girlfriend, I miss the, these. Um, yeah. The hose. The hose. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. It's really good. Um, someone once told me that hoses. I was thinking of like a breastfeeding joke, but that ho- was way better. Hoses are um, dinosaur pee. Water. That's, whoa. Isn't that crazy? Whoa. Because it's a wild thing to tell someone. Water's just been recycled over and over for yeah. since history for four thousand years now. And um so some of it is dinosaur pee. Isn't that crazy? If they peed, we don't really know. Assuming if, they peed. If they, assuming they existed. Yeah. Assuming Satan didn't plant dinosaur bones mm-hmm. around the world to trick us. Mm-hmm. That's a wild Which thing to is tell children. No cap, no yamaka, no <laughs> turban. It's a wild thing to tell children. It it might be true. <laughs> but, but, it's <laughs> When molding a young mind so they have a basic fundamental understanding of the world, yeah. telling them that Satan spread dinosaur bones around the world to trick us. Hey, he's a trickster. He's a bad man. Yeah. <laughs> Can we also teach him evolution, though, too, in like a different class? Mm-hmm. That's a wild thing to tell a child. Dog, I didn't learn evolution until I was like 28. Yeah, I don't think you should learn. Well, I think we talked about this before. You shouldn't learn religion until you're like 28. So then you can decipher some of the stuff. Because like, a lot of the shame that, uh, that goes against the- and Christianity. I know, for sure. But like that puts on you when you're a child. Yeah. And just it fucks you up for life. Yeah, the, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's I'm not still too afraid to have sex. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, it's I don't know necessarily that, but I don't know with a man. Yeah, <laughs> because of religion. Uh, because of bros. Yeah, yeah, because of bros, which yeah. we boycotted because yep. it's gay. <laughs> Me and all my friends boycotted bros because it's gay. Not because it's a fucking lame rom-com. Who yeah. I've heard it's funny, actually. Yeah, I've heard it's funny, too. But, I mean, me and Apatow have been at the uh, I'll Catch You on streaming for mm, a while now. Yeah. So. Not worth the feats. Yeah, with bros, I'll catch you. I didn't even know it was Apatow. Yeah, he produced it. <laughs> Easy. He's a nerd. Uh, oh, for sure. 
I think he would say that too. He's the Neil deGrasse Tyson of movies. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who gives a fuck? You're going there, huh? Who gives a fuck, Judd? What's yeah. your real name, Justin? Yeah. We're we're. Uh, no one goes to the theater to see comedies. No. Yeah. And nor they should. Yeah. If I'm going to the theater, I, I need maybe like something where it's like uh, thrillers, action movies. Uh, that's maybe historical dramas. You know, I just saw like, Barbarian. How was that? I wanted to see that. Um, I had horrible nightmares. Okay. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so maybe not. <laughs> fine movie. Fun movie. The I've never had nightmares that crazy. I was like killing people. Really? Yeah. Damn. I mean, it was kind of badass. I like woke up and I was like, whoa, that should be a movie. And I started yeah. writing. And I was like, this is awful. This is, this is a movie. <laughs> um, yeah, it was like people. Uh, Don't spoil it. I think I'm going to go see it. No, my dreams. Okay. was like right. people came into my kitchen or something and I killed them all. Oh. Like slit their throat. Kids. Like gruesomely killed them. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gnarly. I felt badass. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you guys said I felt bad. No, I felt badass. No. I wanted to kill more. <laughs> you, it's you the ever dreams, a, not Marilyn Manson. You ever have a dream um, about a, a certain girl, like a specific girl, and you wake up and you're like, I think I'm in love with her. You have kind yeah, of that feeling. All the time. Where you have a connection. That's how I feel with killing. Every night. I woke up after killing three people. I'm like, I need more. I'm in love with this. <laughs> you had bloodlust. I had bloodlust. Yeah. I still kind of have it. That's a, that's a weird place to be. <laughs> that's come on. <laughs> <laughs> what what did we see? We never talked about uh, uh, Harry, Harry, Harry and Henderson, the Hendersons, <laughs> Harry and the Hendersons, <laughs> Harry Potter and the Hendersons. Uh, don't worry, darling. Oh yeah, lame. You didn't like it? I thought it was cool, but the fucking movie sucked. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was good. Acting. It was it was good. Great acting performances. We saw the first half of a movie. Where's the second half? It ended? Okay, but what happens? You know what I mean? It's open to uh, your interpretation. Re- no, don't make me do the work. You want me to just spoon feed it to you? No, yes. You write the movie. Why am I writing the movie? That shit pisses me off. What's the fucking movie? Um, not When Harry Met Sally, but L- Lost in Translation. Yeah. Where he whispers something. Yeah. And they go, okay, now you decide what he whispers. Yeah. No! I'm not a movie writer. <laughs> I'm a watcher. I'm a movie watcher. I paid to see this. You got paid for this. Finish it for me. I'm not good at this. You don't want to use your imagination. Maybe no. like go back, look at some things that you saw Bro, throughout the movie. Maybe you could, you could, you know, you could. You, my imagination is tapped out from jacking off without porn. I don't no, have time man. to come up with movie yeah. scripts. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Some wild, wild thoughts going on over there. No porn. Give me, I mean. Wow, yeah. that's where we differ. It's huh? the first half of a movie. That's, that's where we differ. I'll go watch a movie and be like, oh, yeah, I'll so, make up what happens. So what happened after the end of that movie? Hmm. Well, I'm going to assume. You haven't seen the rest. No, but I know. No, but I'm saying you haven't even thought yeah, of the rest. Do you need them to spoon feed the rest of you of what happened? Yeah, I don't know what happened. I know. You know what happened. No, I don't. Yeah, she did the thing. And then, and then what? The people, and, then, and then what? And she did the thing. And then she got. Because there's the, a whole life that exists after She afterwards. got the thing. And then she got the people. Yes, you want to watch that? Yes. I need to know what happens. Right, I'm, I don't want to spoil it for people. Let's just. Uh, it doesn't matter. There's nothing to spoil. There's no ending. <laughs> if we tell you what happens in the end, you'll be like, hey, that sounds like the middle of a movie. <laughs> it's the middle of a story. Sure. Of her story. Sure. But the movie, it ended. Yeah, yeah, and it shouldn't have. All right. Okay. Or just don't make it. (laughs) This is why men should direct movies. (laughs) Oh, buddy. (laughs) Uh, Uh, We did. We did. We did. Bros. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Um, Also, happy birthday to Maya. Maya the singer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love her. What is her song? I don't know her songs. Uh, Ghetto Superstar. She's singing. Oh, that's Maya. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, it's an incredible song. Yeah, Ghetto Superstar. That is what you are. Coming from afar, reaching for the stars. Come away with me to another place. We can rely on each other. Uh huh. From one corner to another. Uh huh. I always thought that was Weird Al. (laughs) I realized that was Maya. Does he ever remake of that? Um, he does it in one of his uh, polkas he sings in. Okay. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, ghetto superstar. That is what you want. <laughs> kind of like that. Ding, ding, bong, bing bong. That guy, uh, he's made a whole career out of just <laughs> making other people's music worse. 
No, but he puts a lot of time into it. I didn't say he didn't. That's the funny, bro. He's funny. Yeah, no, for sure. But for just, how corny that shit is, yeah. it's very yeah. funny. Is he like the most successful just hornball ever? Mm, like yeah. he doesn't try anything else but to be, well, Russell Wilson. But is he even successful? One yeah, Super Bowl? Yeah, one Super Bowl is pretty successful. One Super Bowl, quarter billion dollars. I'd say it's a success. Maybe. Married to Sierra. That's Maybe. He's done it, but he's like, yeah. Bro, TikTok facts. I saw this whole thing that dissected <laughs> Sierra and Russell Wilson's relationship. <laughs> Can I just say it real yeah, quick? Yeah, sure. What this 13-year-old from fucking Boulder, Colorado have to no, say? No, it was these two women that thought they were doing of a true course. crime podcast. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's about how, like, Sierra had Future, right? Mm-hmm. And Future's a guy who, like, just gets women pregnant all the time and, like, you know, fucks around and sleeps with everybody. Yeah. And Sierra is, like, very monogamous and, like, yeah, wanted a family, sure. like, yeah. all that shit. And so she thought that, like, she had Future locked down and would stay with him forever. Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, like, he gets she her pregnant and, and he's like, yeah, we're going to get married. I'm in love with her, blah, blah, blah. And then six yeah. months later, yeah. cheats on her. Does, does, thing. Yeah. does Future. Yeah. <laughs> so what I read was, like, oh, she just, she had to find this, the... This guy who could like match her lifestyle and also be the that foundation of like a family, yeah, the opposite of future essentially. Yeah. Did you see that future was trying out for the? He announced he was trying out for the Denver Broncos quarterback position. <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> no, but it's so funny. Yeah, it is. It was all over the internet. Yeah, I was gonna say you had to get ball sack sports, but that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's hilarious. Very funny. Yeah. I also think like we don't know who Russell Wilson is. No, you know he I mean? doesn't know who he is. I think he might. I just think he is perfected uh, no. quarterback mode. He, he's like, I'm going to be the corniest, most played, nothing to say, I anything think, cool I ever. Think, I think he lies to himself. I think he lies to us. But I think he does that because he lies to himself. Like, he's so deep in whatever character he's playing yeah. that he doesn't. I feel yeah, he's got a big case of Tiger Woods. I it's not like, like he goes in his room and comes out of it and is just like, I'm exhausted. He's just like, no, I'm still Russell Wilson. Yeah. I am. All, I will always be Russell Wilson. No, I think. It's like, no, bro, just be gay he's, or whatever he's you like are. like a sexual deviant. Yeah. He probably easily. He like, got secrets. Yeah. You know, Russell's just in there like eating tons of ass. Yeah. He probably, he, well, he wants to, but yeah. he won't let him. No, I think he does. I, I think he has to let go. Because I, I think all that is like pent it up. It checks up all, all the Russell Wilson rules. He's like, okay, I'm in a monogamous, heterosexual uh, relationship under God. Uh, we've bore children. I can now eat ass. No, but in the Bible, it says you can't eat ass. Hey, I think Russell, you might make a... Or maybe... I think it says thou shalt not eat ass. <laughs> no, it's an unclean animal. You can't eat any animal with hooves. <laughs> yeah, well, Sierra's just a woman. No, but uh, an ass oh, is a donkey. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, <laughs> my, uh, hey, this is my impression of a comedian in Jerusalem in the zeros. Okay. Hey, my wife wants me to eat her ass, um, but then what? Will she ride into Jerusalem? Also, happy birthday um, to these, the Scotty, I would say the Scotty Pippen to Tony Hawk's Michael Jordan. Okay. Bob Burnquist. Or yes, Andy sir. Bob. You got it on one. Yeah. yeah. Bobby B. Bobby, well, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I would say... He, one of the all-time greats. For sure. Always overshadowed by I, Tony. I would say that uh, maybe like the KD to Kobe's LeBron, because Scotty and Jordan were teammates. Sure. I, yeah, I was taking out of it. Yeah, 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 for sure. Just the overshadow. He's like he's like a Chuck or like Hakeem Olajuwon. Yeah. You know what I mean, this guy's like an all-time great, but Could we're never, never going to never gonna talk about him because of MJ. Yeah. And when MJ retired for a little bit, then Bob had to shine when they did the big fucking ramp. Yeah. And that was like Tony Hawk's retirement, then I, Tony Hawk came back. I always... Whenever I, got, whenever I played PS... Or, Pro Skater 2, I would always yeah. play Bob Burnquist. I was a big Bucky Lassic guy. Yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. All right. You got Buck, Bucky Lassic energy. Because his name's Bucky? Yeah. <laughs> he was a goofy, goofy guy. He was sick. Um, he, he won all the time after Tony retired. Bob Burnquist was a uh, Brazilian. Yeah. Hey, how many is Bob a Brazilian? Bob is Brazilian. What did I say? I mean, he is a Brazilian. No, I'm going to answer the <laughs> question. Uh, roughly 1.2 billion. Well, okay. Is one Brazilian? Yep. It's the population of Brazil. Um, four more birthdays. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> happy birthday to uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Okay, happy birthday, Jr. He's uh, your dad's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> For Did, I don't know. In case he stole in the car, I didn't hear. <laughs> they were racing together when that happened, right? I think so. Crazy. Yeah. And then Dale took his number over. Do you, no, he's he didn't. Kinda, yeah, did he didn't? No, he no, stayed eight. He was always eight. Oh, when I make that, yeah, I think head? three's retired. Oh, well, three's Richard Petty, isn't it? No, forty three's. Ah, uh, yeah, you know way more about Come that. Come on, man. Yeah, leave this to the white guy. No, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm asking. I mean, yo, these are these are not state direct statements. They are. They're can a I, question tone to them. Can I tell a funny NASCAR story? Sure. For like four or five years of my life, 
Huge in a NASCAR. Maybe not even that. Three years of my life. Huge in a NASCAR. And my favorite racer was this guy named Casey Kane. I remember Casey Kane. And he came to uh, like a local hockey game once and did yeah. an autograph signing. And so I walked through. This is right when I got my first cell phone. And um, I walked through and I handed my thing to get signed. And I go, can I get a picture? He goes, sure. And I take my cell phone out and just take a picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> and he looked at me so weird and I didn't understand why. And then later, my, I think my dad was like, you should have gotten the picture with him. him. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> can, I go, can I get a yeah, picture? Yeah, no, no, just, for sure, for sure. Get, get in the picture with him. He, yeah, I'll do that next time. He's yeah, no, sitting definitely. at the table, yeah. still signing my autograph, and I just take a, he's like not even smiling. I just yeah. took a picture of him. <laughs> Casey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like five uh, foot three. Stamp. He was one of the smallest men I've ever yeah, seen. You put the worst, most uh, fucked up pixelated picture on Facebook. We're like, this is Casey Gaines. Also, yeah. <laughs> Let me say this. I picked him like when he was a rookie. Mm -hmm. I just, I really liked him for some reason. I liked his car and stuff. Never won. Couldn't win. I don't know what it is about me and these sports Thinking people losers. that I root for. Yeah. Some of it's a birthright by being born in Michigan. Uh, but even then, my extended family was Bears fans. It's not much better, dog. And they won the Super Bowl. In 86. They went to the Super Bowl in my lifetime. No, they didn't. Yeah, they oh, did. They, they did lost to the Colts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a fun game. Um, but they're not as sad as the Lions. They're pretty sad. Recently. Yeah. They were good for a while. They're not... It's also like uh, they got like the big city fan base thing around them. So there's so many Bears fans, especially in the Midwest. Yeah. Like you're, people are telling you that they're good when they're not. It's yeah. the same thing with the Giants. Yeah. We stink. We're a stinky team. We do have the two Super Bowls, but like every year is going to be like, oh, it's our year. Yeah. S similar to the Knicks, I would say. Um, yeah, it's just sad. Yeah. Uh, shout out Sterling Martin. Sure. Shout out to him. That's the guy that clipped Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, hope you're doing well. Uh, but there's no NASCAR fans that listen to this. People love Dale Earnhardt. Yeah, I, yeah. But uh, the Intimidator. Say? Yeah, it's pretty sick. Nick. Mm -hmm. I would say Dale Jr. is kind of like he's because of what happened to him, and then he's won a couple times, right? My dad's dead. Yeah, he was like really good. Yeah, he's he, he uh, moved over from just like a NASCAR guy to like an American sports figure. Yeah. Oh, would, for sure. Yeah, I would say like yeah, if you ask most white people who's Dale Jr., Earnhardt Jr. Yeah, they all know. Get, yeah, uh, not all, but you're gonna get like way closer to like a Casey Kane. Um, yeah, his name helps. Uh, I think a Jeff Gordon is Jeff there Gordon, for sure. Jimmy Johnson. I think uh, Dallas Cowboys coach. Okay, yeah, because Jimmy Johnson was like when Jeff Gordon retired. Jimmy Johnson yeah. was then the guy. Well, he won like there six was, in there a was row. There's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. that won two Super Bowls and the national championship at Miami. Like, yeah, yeah. sorry. That, that that's the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yeah. in Zeitgeist. Um, Jimmy Johnson was dominant. Um, my dad's favorite was um, Mark. Fuck, old guy. Oh, uh, shout out my boy Nico. He sent me a shirt a couple of years ago. It's a uh, Bobby Labonte. Shout Hell yeah, yeah. Bobby Labonte <laughs> and Terry Labonte. <laughs> yeah. M and M's and uh, Frosted Flakes. Yeah, oh yeah, dude. Shirt sure rips. Um, and then there's the guy uh, Michael Waltrip. Michael Waltrip. Okay, who's now a commentator. All right, he's kind of a legend. I forget the Mark guy's name. He drove the number, the silver number six. I feel like we're forgetting a lot of guys. I'm just trying to think of like people who like exceeded NASCAR. I don't think, I don't know if there are any now. Jeff Gordon for sure. Oh, what about the guy that killed somebody? Tony Stewart. Yeah, Tony Stewart. I was going to say, I was, yeah, that's the one I was searching for. I was like, yeah. there's one that's like huge. Yeah. If you kill somebody, you get some uh, recognition yeah. Yeah. too. Yeah, for sure. Did he do it like dirt track? Kind of dirty. On, yeah. He like hit him. Yeah. Well, they were like fighting. Yeah. Then, yeah, that's the. And he like, yeah, hit him. If you were fighting and then, you know, and someone yeah. dies. Yeah. It's a, it's a tough scene, bud. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the other thing I like about NASCAR is it's like fat old guys. Yeah. It can be. Mm -hmm. Any sport that allows fat old guys, I mean, yeah, golf. F1, F1, because of the weight and shit, they got to be like a little too athletic and in shape yeah. and like uh, very soccer playerish, European. Yeah. But like, no, nah, we'll yeah, Bubba, get in there and drive that fucking car. Bubba. <laughs> it don't matter how big you are. <laughs> Um, sometimes people ask me if I didn't do stand up, what would I be doing? I tell, I tell them NASCAR driver oh. or race car driver. Race car driver? Yeah. I think you're a little too tall. Tall? Yeah. I cut my legs off. All right. You do you see this? Do you see these fucking surgeries where they make you taller? Yeah. Those guys always look weird, though. You know what this feels like? Because they're, 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 uh, fucking, whatchamacallit? Uh, what's this? Disproportionate arms. No, but Wing, wingspan. wingspan. Yeah, their wingspan is always fucked up. So they got like these guys hey. are like, they're like their arms just come down to like their fucking uh, hips. It's yeah. just like, dude, you don't look right. You know what this and feels like though? Everyone knows you. Well, we you all just, know you're 5'3. Maybe a move. Yeah. You know what this is though? What? This is um, tall face. Fake boobs. It's tall face. It's fake boobs for men. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Right? Like, you know, women, when small, when, when fake boobs got invented, women with big boobs were like, well, fuck this. Yeah. This you can't just become us. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel with these motherfuckers get surgery. I mean, I feel uh, these guys definitely a uh, little more putting on the line. 
I, sure, but the surgery is going to get better. But like, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. You're right. You're but eventually, right, everyone's right, going to be tall. Right, yeah. By that time, I hope we're dead. But <laughs> <laughs> also, speaking on this trans swimmer issue, okay, we're going back, which yeah. is new. Yeah, <laughs> has not been discussed at all by anybody. Uh, well, I'm just like you know, we live in a world now where being genetically modified happens. Mm-hmm. Like, do we disqualify women with fake tits from what t-shirt contests? Well, no, wait, no. All right, they're busting. Yeah, yeah, they're in. Also, remember the Mia Hamm Michael Jordan commercial? Anything you can do, I can do better. Prove, prove it. You know. Mm-hmm. If y'all believe that, prove it. Yep. <laughs> And that's why. <laughs> hey, bro, that, that's going, why you. That's why you wait six months to say your piece on a controversial topic. Yeah, I was like, "Where, where are you going now? A slippery slope here." Because no, no one's going to cancel us from one uh, destination to the next. It's like, oh my god, we're still going further. I thought this trip was over. No, <laughs> like, now that nobody cares about that issue anymore, now yeah. you can say what you yeah. really think. About you sent me with like a Stephen A. Like, however, and I was like, oh god. Um, it's right. Oh, did, you, did you see that clip of him? No, he was on the podcast with. Uh, Jake Paul and a woman that I don't know. And uh, they're asking questions. They're like, so anything, anything, you can ask us anything? Or you, we can ask you anything, da, da, And Stephen A's like, yeah, you can ask me anything. And they're like, do you eat ass? And he goes, that's private. And then he goes, no, no. He goes, do, they said, do you eat ass? He's like, no, I've never eaten ass. I don't have to eat ass, da, da, da. And they're like, have you ever had your ass eaten? He goes, that's private. Damn. So he yeah, has. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Hey, bro, he had to tell us that. <laughs> He's an honest man. He also he has a new podcast where he's interviewing like Tucker Carlson and people. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, Stephen A. Suck. <laughs> Got to stay relevant, dog. You can either do that or or wear a t shirt that says "White Lives Matter." You know? <laughs> I only put so many options for it's black men in the media. Yeah. Um, also, also, happy birthday to the first person you see when you turn on your hotel television. Oh, um, Mario Lopez. Yeah. yeah. Good guesses oh, yeah. today, huh? Yeah. I've seen a bunch of hotels. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the man's a legend. Yeah. Just doing hotel yeah. TV. Yeah, he is. I think he's hosting. No, uh, he hosts his, like, uh, Access Dance, Hollywood. Dances with the Stars, Access Hollywood. He's like, he's like a, he's been a host for, like, the last 15 years on Yeah, and he's married to uh, Khloe Kardashian still. No, he's not. I don't know. I thought that was funny. Why? Uh, <laughs> he clearly has a type. <laughs> it's not him. Yeah. It's like it's Tristan. The, Th- it's literally just Tristan Thompson. Um, he's also co-hosted the Wendy Williams show. <laughs> That's, That's pretty funny. funny. Um, Who did I see on the Wendy Williams show? And then actually, I stayed there and watched the rest of it. Oh, Chris Stefano. Oh, word. He was That's hosting funny. it. But like, funny for if you're a fan of him, it was funny, but so much more funny because he's just bombing in front of all these middle aged yeah, men. I'm sure he loved it. It was too. hilarious. That's so funny. <laughs> Damn, Andy's on Broadway now, too. Really? Mario Lopez. Mario? Yeah. Hell funny. yeah. Um, wait, who hosted um, ABDC? America's Best Dance Crew. I don't know. Was that not Mario Lopez? Possibly. You're on the wiki. It's it's if it's not him, it's someone who tried to be him. Uh, oh, Lil Mama. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Mario Lopez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario Lopez. That show a, ripped. America's Best Dancer. Yeah, did you yeah, watch it? Was it? Good. it was pretty good. That gave us the Jabberwockies. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, the birth of the Jabberwockies. Who still to still around? Dancing's Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. Every once in a while, you just see him at like a Laker game, like on a commercial yeah, too. Yep, the crushing. Um, yeah, they were like. Stars. For also, them. what a good uh, plan too. They all wear masks, so yeah. if one guy's fucking up a little bit, everyone's got to stay sharp because people aren't falling in love with you; they're falling in love with the crew. With the crew, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unlike the that one dance crew whose um, lead guy was a big fat guy named Mouse. <laughs> no, never them. <laughs> I wasn't that big into the show. That guy inspired me, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, bro, there's a show for you now. Jabberwocky, make su- way for the make room Super for the Crew, big girls. Quest Crew. We are heroes. We are heroes is such a bad name. Yeah. Poriotics, I am me, electrolytes, quest true again. That must have been like a return thing. Jabberwockies is the only good name out of all those. Yeah. Super crew, quest crew, we are heroes. <laughs> we are heroes, I kind of like. No. For I dance crew? Like That's like the fucking uh, you got served dance yeah. crew. <laughs> we are heroes is so funny. It's just they did not try at all. <laughs> Poriotics, I dot am dot me dot. Electrolytes with a K. I I mean, like that. <laughs> dancers are. They should get someone else to name their teas for them. They are not. This is not their forte. Is fucking. <laughs> just, just shut up and dance. You know. Oh. Would, I used to love this show. The little mama was on it. Uh, Randy Jackson. Have you watched uh, Make Room for the Big Girls? No. What is that? No. It's a Lizzo show on uh, Amazon Prime. No. Oh, uh, all right. I don't. I don't have a big enough TV. What's the premise of the show? It's a reality show. Who can show. be the fattest? 
Uh, no, just who's the best big girl dancer? And at the oh, end, oh, it's dancing. Yeah. Oh, I watch that. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> like, like, <laughs> what do you think this was? <laughs> I don't know. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Fucking um. Wait, give me a second. Um. Oh, ask me again. Say what do you think? What do you think it was? I don't know. A mukbang. <laughs> Do you know what those are? No. You know when those, I know I've heard it before. <laughs> when those people get like uh, family feasts and eat it all in one sitting yeah. on YouTube. Oh, buddy. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. That's a mukbang. Yeah. Not great. Uh, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. So they, uh, fuck. Make way for the big girls. So uh, to dance competition, every week like someone gets eliminated and Lizzo's trying to narrow it down. Who's the best big girl dancer in America? And they're going to go on tour with her. They got to narrow it down. Um... <laughs> Come on, dog. I gained like 15 pounds in the last two months. I'm allowed to make these jokes again. For sure. That's happy weight, though. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Until my doctor says it's going to kill me. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the worst thing about where we are in life. Yeah. We, we are literally 50 to 20 pounds away from serious medical problems yep. to begin the form. Yep. We are all on by the skin I, of our teeth. I worry about every time I eat like a Skittle, I'm like, here comes the Here it is. Here it is. This is the one. It's over This for is me. the one. I know. Someone I'm uh, very close with that's two years older than me he just got gout. I'm like, ugh. And he's healthy. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Wild. Um, Sad. It's genetics. I hope not. And. Um, oh, your dad gout? No. Oh, mine does. Really? Yeah, but he didn't get it until he was like 70. Yeah, you get it when you're an old man. You sh- yeah. You're not supposed to get it in your 30s. Yeah, he's also, I mean, love you, Dad. He's lived one of the most unhealthiest lives I could imagine. Yeah. He's been smoking since he was like 12. Pop drinker. Still smoking. Yeah. Uh, Barg's root beer. He was big on that. Ooh, Barg's root beer rips. I know. <laughs> I'm not bad at him. Yeah, root beer at all rips. Yeah. Mugs. He kind of lives a life that- uh, And dub. Uh, with way more hard work and way more intelligent of a person that I kind of aspire to. Just do what you want. Sure. The rest will figure itself out. Eat what you want. Well, indulge. You know, be careful. Yeah, for sure. Um, I got good genes. Two more B-Days. Um, happy birthday to um, kind of a newly found asshole sports superstar. Brett Favre. That's not new. I mean, the dick pic shit, but like all the tax. Oh, well, evil, I would say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bad guy. <laughs> he's, been a, he's been a questionable character. Bad guy. But yeah, this is, yeah, straight up. Awful. I mean, just like in football, he's he's throwing a lot of interceptions. If you catch my drift, he's, yeah, he's intercepting some funds, um, knowingly too. Yeah, yeah. We never talked about Brett. Yeah, it's uh, one of my favorite players. Nice dick. Up. Yeah, he's kind of always just been like on the fringe of. We just, he was cool because he had a huge arm and he has that fucking southern accent. Well, yeah. not that huge, <laughs> not that arm. Uh, well, if you're a good quarterback for the Packers, yeah, you're, you're a good quarterback be... for the Packers. You're around for a while. Yeah. Uh, he had that Monday night game after his dad died, where yeah. he threw like five touchdowns. That was awesome. Like, didn't miss any games. Yeah, but if you look at the other stuff, he was kind of just a drug addict who was sitting out big picks his whole life. Yeah, yeah, he's an asshole. <laughs> yeah. He, I mean, he has a whole controversy <laughs> section. You know, yeah. Ooh, like, uh, what's up? What's like? So we know the dick pic. We know the drugs. We know the the. What's the fourth? Addicted to Vicodin. Yeah. Uh, addicted to alcohol. Um, he I don't had, know if that's addicted if he's just from Mississippi. Yeah. Sexting. Um, sending dick pics. The welfare scandal. Um, a bunch of uh, public speaking no-shows. Yeah. And then just a bunch of tax shit. Yeah. I was going to say, if you got, once you get to four, three months in jail. Yeah. If you have four different parts, four different like little things on your Wikipedia controversy section, you got to do four months. Sure. Or three months. Um, he's also, yeah, you know, he's a big uh, Trump guy. Yep. Big faith guy. <laughs> you kind of got to be, huh? Loves Vicodin. You can't be like drug addict. Wasn't some, there's something about Mary? Yeah, he was. Uh, you can't be like drug addict, sexting, uh, dick pic guy and, and not be about faith. You know, yeah. you gotta have something where the public can be like, he's a man of God. Yeah. Even though he doesn't act like it at every chance given. Mark Martin. Mark Martin. That's the racer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got dog. I knew it was an M. And finally, happy birthday, Gavin Newsom, our hero, our yep. leader, our fearless leader. Yep. We are Fear forever Newsom. indebted to you. Yep. French Laundry. You know, for all the- That's our governor. Yeah. Governor Gav. Governor Newsom. How, how, besides the French Laundry shit, how do you feel about him? I don't care. Yeah. He, I could not give less of a fuck about does, California politics. A, he does a decent enough job, I guess. Bring back Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> Bring, 
But no, as California, we should always have celebrities in office. That's like a fun thing he's, we could he's do. He's kind of like a celebrity. Because he's in office. Yeah. No, like, let's do Ronald Reagan, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Throat goat. Brad Pitt. Nancy Reagan. Let's new, get her in office. New sexual assaulter, Brad Pitt. Hmm? Yeah, his, wife's, his ex-wife's coming after him. I think abuse, not sexual assault. Okay. Sorry, abuse. All right. All right. Which is so that's maybe just worse. as bad. Is that worse? All crimes are equally bad in what, my what'd eyes. What'd she say he I'm did? God. What'd she say he did? I don't know, like hit her, hit her or hit a kid or something. Mm. I mean, when you have 27 kids, one of them's going to get hit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Is Sorry. Angelina Jolie saying this? I don't remember. No, I don't think so. I don't know. Look it up. I didn't want to read it because I love yeah. it too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm asking questions I don't really want to. I'm, I'm going to let the public come out with the information if it's necessary, yeah. but hopefully it blows over and isn't true. Oh, uh, wait. He's my favorite actress. <laughs> Actor. Until he cuts his hair, I call him an actress. No man should have a hair below his ears. That's what I say. I'm God. <laughs> You're a titan. Titan? Yeah. Why do you say it like that? Titan? Uh, titan? I don't know. Titan. 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 T- titan. Tinnitus. Tinnitus. I have tendonitis. Now I Ow. know what I want to talk about. I do have tendonitis in my Achilles. In your- or I was dipped in the river <laughs> of narcissists. Matt the Baptist? Yo, did you hear about uh, the Los Angeles City Council controversy? No. You're not, you, dude, you're, you're all over the place. I'm telling you, I'm not an internet guy, man. All right, well, uh, what's her name? Nuri Martinez. She had, she just says right now, two hours ago, she resigned as president of the LA City Council. Uh, she was caught on tape. Oh, screaming. my brother told me about this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very funny. Yeah. Very funny. I mean, it's... Say the story for our listeners. Okay. Well, I, I got to find the actual quotes. She was caught on tape. She was caught on tape uh, talking shit about one of uh, the other city council members. Uh, adopted, adopted black son. Black son. She yeah. called him a little. She called him a little monkey. She also said, she uh, get, let me go around the corner with him. He'll act right. Oh, I didn't hear that part. Yeah. She, was, she said she wanted to hit the kid. <laughs> Can I say something? Might be like the least. Yeah, Can there I was s- also another guy on there. He was saying like, oh, we can't get him. He's with the blacks. Like, there, yeah, there was, a, there was some stuff that was said. It's crazy to me that racism exists in politics. Doesn't yeah. that not make sense? <laughs> Isn't that wild? Isn't that a crazy thing? I will say this. That these bad people are bad. I will say this on her defense. I know on that float, that little kid was probably wilding the fuck out. Oh, sure. He was yeah. obviously not acting right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, though. This whole adopted kid with two white gay dads, like, he, I, he was... He yeah. was gay dads. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, they weren't telling them what to do at all. Yeah. Because that's racial violence if you discipline a child. Yeah. Can I say... Can I propose something? Let Can we take monkey out of the racist agenda? Not agenda. The racist racial vernacular. Slurs. Yeah. Because it is a fun word to call someone. Yeah. But, I, you, yeah, but I, you can't. Yeah. Not when they're... Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Look, did, like it's the closest animal to Matt, us. Matt, did we start this with a jaw? <laughs> yeah, fair. I'm not blaming you. Yeah. I just, I want it removed because it is like. I'm just saying I want to agree with you, but uh, and sometimes history you see made people acting hard. like monkeys, man. Yeah. Like I, jumping around yeah, and stuff. Especially like a little kid. And also. They're th- very close to monkeys in size and like energy level. There's a white girl I know that looks like Caesar from Planet of the Apes. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. It is. Looks think, exactly like her. I, yeah, I think you can uh, call her monkey like. She's a monkey. <laughs> she's a dirty, filthy monkey. <laughs> See, doesn't it doesn't it feel, doesn't it sound weird? They're coming out of your mouth. Yeah, calling saying she's a monkey. I mean, it's something I've not allowed myself to say. Yeah, it's, it, and it sounds awkward. It does. Yeah, even though you've already discussed who you're talking about. Because alongside with so that f- unfortunate looking white woman, alongside of that comes. I mean, she looks fine, but she just looks like Caesar. Like it, when you compare them, it's like whoa. But she's not mm-hmm. ugly. I, it's I, like one of those things that once your brain connects, you can never unsee it. I don't know if that's possible, but okay. I'll show you a picture Please, and you, you tell know, me if she's I, I'm going to need to. We might even go uh, to Deadman after this. If I see her, but yeah, she's cute. Um, Monkey girl, what's up? Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, because then that also takes away ape and gorilla. I think, yeah. Ugh. And orangutan. Gor- Am I allowed to call you an orangutan? No. Why? It's a monkey. No, it's not. It's a primate. Yeah? You understand why not? I, can I call you a primate? I'm a tech- no. Primate is worse. Pri- isn't primate what Roseanne said? No, she said Planet of the Apes. <laughs> uh, orangutan is like so far removed from that, though. Yeah, I was going to say gorilla. I could see that being okay. If, if it- I called you a gorilla. No, not if you call me a gorilla, but let's say like uh, you're you're a scout, right? A football scout. Sure. You're watching he's this like, little, he's acting he's, like a gorilla. He's playing like a gorilla. <laughs> yeah, they can't block that, that guy, gorilla. That guy would get fired. Yeah, for sure. If he said they can't block that gorilla, he yeah. would get fired. Yeah. <laughs> 
A hundred percent. I'm just picturing like Lee Corso or someone just be like, look at these gorillas over here on the left. Yeah. This, like, you, he's talking about just big like offensive line and yeah. we're mauling people. But no, we'll say, you know, we'll say Rhino or something. Yeah. Yeah. Battle of the, yeah. Yeah. It's also just nice to call people people. I want to see we'll the- have to call people animals. I want to see the evolution of, but we are animals, my friend. Ooh. Deep down, we are animals mm-hmm. who cursed ourselves with thought, with work, with time, with race. Deep. For once, we lived perfectly in peace. What am I hitting? You should oh, hit the story button. I got you. For once, we lived- <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> that's all I have. Do you have anything else? Uh, you, you, no. You it's, got funny, a, it's funny she got fired. Oh Do you yeah. Have anything yeah. else? No, not really. She didn't even get fired. She stepped down. Yeah, she stepped down. Yeah. Who's our new president? <laughs> I don't know. We got to vote for somebody. Probably the gay guy. Are you voting? The canvassers are coming. Lock your doors. Hide right. your wife and kids. They don't, they don't They're raping down. everybody out here. <laughs> I want to, I want to get a yard sign that says "Don't vote." Voting's for, <laughs> voting's for idiots. Ugh. Voting is for orangutans. Are you, are you against voting? Voting's for gorillas. Are you against it? No, for vote real? if you want to vote. I don't yeah, give a yeah, fuck. All right, don't but don't make me vote. Well, I, here's my thing: if you don't vote, shut up. But it's different. You're not. Um, if you if, my, but my platform is. Um, you're running. It's okay. If you don't, yeah, yeah you're not yeah, supposed to vote yeah, if you're running. Yeah. If if you don't want to vote, cool, but stop complaining seriously. Wait, if you're running for president, are you allowed to vote? Yeah, Kanye voted for himself. Well, that's different. He's a write-in. Oh no, he's not. Like, did Biden vote? Yeah, he probably definitely voted for himself. Yeah, maybe if someone showed him where it was. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> That's my excuse for not voting, though. That's why they started doing early ballots. Yeah. Just because Biden was running. They're like, all right, all right. He doesn't even have to fill this out. Like, yeah, boom, yeah. done. I guarantee he didn't fill it out. Yeah. Is that illegal to have someone else fill it out for you? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Probably without consent. Yeah. But, like, if I don't have arms, who's filling it out? My teeth? Well, how else do you fill things out? You should be able to vote online. You should be able to vote by texting something. Yeah. If I can text Red Cross to fix mm-hmm. Katrina, yeah. I should be able to text... You know. Well, we saw that one, so maybe That's we should maybe true. we should just go there in person. That's true. <laughs> R.I.P. Florida and whatever island country got hit. I'm sorry, all of them. Sorry. Yeah, I think they're okay. Hey, if you know Trump the was sorry, office, sorry is very dismissive when you say whatever island country got yeah, hit. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> if Trump was still president, he'd be down there throwing paper towels at yeah, you. Yeah, so oh, man. That bring was, him back, uh, huh, buddy? I was still. Where's Biden? He's not throwing anything. No, he's just like. The only thing he's throwing is his back out. There it is. <laughs> yeah, probably got that one off. Remember when he fell off a bike? Yeah. <laughs> what an embarrassing oh. place we live in. But the most fun. Yeah. Who's got more fun presidents than us? At I least our know. queen isn't dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lizzie's still dead. Shout out to her. <laughs> Lizzie's in the box. Lizzie's in the box. I want some uh, Oreos. Me too. I think I didn't think it's some Oreos today. Uh, also, uh, I've, been, I've been eating a lot less the last couple of days. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I haven't drank in a week. Nice. I feel incredible. Yeah. That was me. Uh, I want to say like Friday, right around when your birthday was starting. I've yeah. been off the sauce since Saturday night. And I was like, oh, this is. I cannot remember the last time I woke up on a Sunday yeah. to go watch football yeah. and, and was just like, wow, life, yeah. the sun is mm-hmm. good. Yep. I'm quiet quitting drinking during the week. Yeah. Not like I'm necessarily quitting, but like. I'm, I'm going to go the whole month, relax. I think. Really? Yeah. Uh, very original idea. And then we'll see. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I already I'm didn't. Joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But, uh, you know, it's been a week. Yeah. I think the last time I got drunk was last Monday. And it's been, that's crazy because it feels like it's been forever. Yeah. Um, Because we drank so much. But. Yeah, no, I, uh, I'm cutting back. Yeah. Sundays, I, it's, there's so much more fun when I'm not hungover. Yeah. Every like, day's more fun when you're not hungover. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not like going to fucking Carl's Jr. and eating and, yeah. and doing all this bad shit and yeah. all the sugar. Yeah, it's just better for you. Yeah. Cook for yourself. Just get, make a meal. Yeah. It's not as, I feel as better, as man. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to just get skinny again. Yeah. Well. I went back and looked at some pictures recently. I was like, damn. Yeah. I looked good. Yep. I, I could be fucking anyone I wanted to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I still can. Yeah. Not too late. Because there's only one person I want to. You. And that's me. Oh, it's just me, myself, and I got my head up to the sun. Let's not do this. Again. Oh, 
You got to fuck Mary Kill? Yeah. Uh, those bottom three person people. Who? Uh, white guy, blonde chick, white guy. Other, other side. These? Uh, no. These. Yeah, those three. Who are they? Um, R- Randy, um, Candace, and who is that? Coach? I don't want to fuck any of them. They're all bad. They're all bad? They're all villains. Okay, so let's pick good guys. Beard. Uh, no, do one that people know. I don't think people know these people. Uh, survivor people. Let's see what they got in the discords. They gave us. Where are you, survivor nerds? Where are you, a bunch of fucking survivor nerds that listen to us? If you are, please DM me. <laughs> I want more people. To I would talk love to, to talk survivor. Okay. We also, did, if you listen, feel free to DM me, man. I did, did, DM everybody. We did the Kanye one last week, right? Yeah. Damn, it would have been perfect here. Oh, this one's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Pickle Bong Water a couple weeks ago. Oh, actually, no, fuck that. I'm doing this one. That's a Lee show, right? Yeah, I'm doing this one from uh, Tyler. Uh, T Pain Akon Usher. No. Why? No. Do it. Sometimes they gotta be hard. Sometimes they gotta be hard. Guys, get ready for a two-hour episode. <laughs> Starting now. Oh my god. I mean, uh, this is. It's easy. I think it's easy. Yeah. But it's so sad. To kill Akon. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to. It hurts. I love. I like genuinely love him so much. Yeah. And he, that's like, he's the reason we have T-Pain, I think. Yes and no. I mean, he championed T-Pain when, T-Pain, when everyone yeah. was shitting on him. Yeah, but no, because when T-Pain, well, everyone started shitting on T-Pain after he was already here. At, well, after he started. Yeah. But before he was like the guy. Akon bought, gave us T-Pain? Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yep. Damn. Oh, I love Akon so much too. Man. He wrote a whole song about apologizing to his mom and girlfriend for being shitty. Man, you could put the blame on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. So beautiful, it's, dog. Yeah, it really is. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't watch on YouTube, this is a great visual right now. <laughs> Matt just sitting here pondering how not to kill T-Pain or how not to kill Akon or thinking about put the blame on me and how beautiful the song is. It is beautiful. I'm not sure where I'm it's thinking about how beautiful the song is <laughs> and how sad I'm going to be to kill him. <laughs> I mean, the obvious answer it's, it is... It has to be done. I, T-Pain is, you know... I, if Kanye keeps doing goofy shit like this, mm-hmm. uh, T-Pain's my favorite artist. <laughs> <laughs> like, genuinely. Kanye just has more... He's giving me more. Yeah. But T-Pain is but like... He, but he's taking so much more, too. As, as far as my favorite artist, like the person, I think T-Pain is there. Such a cool guy. I mean... I like Kanye too because he's cocky and T-Pain is, not, is the opposite. He's yeah, very, he's very humble and nice and chill. A little insecure. Yeah. Uh, but very humble. Um, But still T-Pain. Such a good guy though. Yeah. Such a good guy. Oh, I love him so much. I'm marrying him. I'm fucking Usher. I'd marry him in real life, dog. <laughs> and you're fucking Usher? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Usher also has given us so much. Here's the thing. I, I love Akon and I love so many of his songs. I've never felt connected to him. Yeah. Because he sings about be- going to jail. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, I, was he, like, I, thought you, I, was, I was thinking T-Pain for a second. I was like, I don't think I've ever no, heard no. That T-Pain going to jail song. Yeah. A- Akon sings about going to jail and being a gangster yeah. and being sorry. Three mm-hmm. things I've never done. And, and stack raps. He sings about stack raps? Stack rap all on the floor. Okay. Stack rap. All right. Oh, you, That's an Eminem song. <laughs> uh, <laughs> snack rap. Uh, Shout out to stack raps. Those are a fucking... McDonald's had one. Damn, you also missed my good joke. What? Uh... I said he sings about going to jail, being a gangster, and being sorry. Three things I've never done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't miss that. It's pretty funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> but but th- that being said, I love his music, but I've never been like, you know, my heart my heart doesn't mm-hmm. feel him the way it feels. Fuck. Fucking Usher, dog. I, Fucking I mean, Usher. I, I think I got to marry Usher. You know, I mean. It's, it's, it's been like a lifelong thing now at this point. Like, it, I've seen the whole from the beginning of like. A, he's going to cheat on you, though. Yeah, I know. I'm going to cheat on him. We'll be perfect for each other. Toxic. It, it'll be okay. Let me say this. He's going to cheat on me and then make one of the most beautiful records ever about how sure. sorry he is. True. <laughs> okay. If Nelly doesn't exist, Usher has my favorite song of all time. Oh, Confessions? Yeah. Yeah, I know. We listen to it every You day. say too much. I say not enough. No, I, it's not that we listen to it too much. It's just maybe if it was like uh, wrapped around some other different songs that we listen to all the time. <laughs> Mm. Were you at my birthday party? Yeah. That's a lot of new songs. It's uh, just there's there's so many songs out there and we've locked into like fifteen to twenty. 
that like for sure getting played every. I don't know what this time. narrative is though. It's not a narrative. I I feel like I don't play those songs that often. Yeah, but it's even if it's not you playing the music, it's those songs are getting played for. Oh, sure. just because they're on every playlist. Yeah, they're yeah. on every radio station. No, you not anymore. <laughs> I mean, on Spotify radio. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. If you play anything R&B, you're getting those songs. Yeah. If you play anything rap, you're getting yeah. those Let's songs. Let's just, like, live DJ more, you know? Let's go back to the queue. Everyone just pass around putting some songs. <sighs> no, I'm done with that. I'm in charge or I'm not coming. <laughs> My skills are too good. <laughs> um, Yeah. I, I mean, Usher has, you know, we've grown up together. Yeah. Truly. Through all the phases of both of our lives. He's always he's he's like that older brother that's always been there. Be like, this is what's gonna happen. Here's how you're gonna feel. I'm gonna sum it up perfectly, beautifully. Yeah, I also I think yeah is a top ten song all time, culturally. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, let's say at least in the discussion. I'd say let's 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 say our generation. Sure. You know what I mean? That, the yeah. generation that matters. Sure. Um, <laughs> the thirty year olds only one that matters. Well, it's like well, it's like it. LeBron can beat everybody that played in the sixties. Yeah. He's just, that's just how it is. It's yeah. better now. Everything's better. We can record better. We have better mm-hmm. sounds, better oh, ways sure. to, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's better than any fucking Beatles song, right? Um, hey, Jews. That's a- it's me, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> I going- am going DEFCON 3. <laughs> Remember that black people were Jewish first. <laughs> Icons. I will not be silenced. Kanye West and the Beatles, yeah. baby. Icons. Hey, Jews. Hey, Jews. Um, <sighs> yeah, so so I'm marrying T-Pain, and I'm doing the dishes for him. All right, you ain't doing the dishes yeah. for me, dog. Oh, buddy. I'm doing the dishes for See, you. See, you're missing the point. I do the you're dishes. You're missing the point. She had him doing the dishes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You want T-Pain to feel so good about this relationship with y'all that he's doing the dishes. Uh, T-Pain never claimed to be a dish doer. That's true. Until her. Man, I've done the dishes twice already. Yeah, nice. One month. Wow. I sent her a video of me doing dishes with I'm Sprung. <laughs> it's cute. It's so cute. Um, God, I, I just, everything, everything he sings about, everything he does, I'm into. I love T-Pain, man. I want a T-Pain tattoo. I want to honor him. Let's get T period pain. Wisconsin. <laughs> Wisconsin. That'd be really funny, actually. He sells Wisconsin t shirts, but they're ugly. Uh, they're red. Get the tattoo. I'm not. I, I mean, that kind of. No, that I don't like Wisconsin, though. Yeah, but uh, that, that checks out. If what? you're trying to sell t shirts. What? Wisconsin. Well, well yeah, it, look, it, it looks yeah. like that. Yeah. And it says Wisconsin. Yeah. But I just. I wanted to buy a black and white one. Yeah. Make your own. Um, That's a great idea. Wait. It's a grape idea. <laughs> I, I say, that's a grape idea. You say, do you say grape? You say grape. No, ready? Yeah. That's a grape idea. You say grape? No. What reason would I have to say grape? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought you said grape. I did say grape. Uh, you missed that. I don't know wine. Wine. Oh, I didn't hear you say wine. Oh, okay. I thought you said wine. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're good at this. Man, I want to talk more about these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love all it's three It's so funny, too, because so you're not even really talking that much. You're just thinking about them. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm like so... <laughs> you're looking off to the right just like, damn. I'm so in awe of what they've done Akon, for us. Usher, and T-Pain. Just... I really do... Um... Let me ask you a question. So those are R&B guys, right? Yeah. Would you put those up against any other R&B guys of any other decade? Would I put them up against them? Yeah. yeah. Of course I would. Those, those are well, those, three... Yeah, those are yours. But I'm saying, though, like... I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. A lot of, like, Jodeci and Casey and Joe. Oh, I'm going further back than that. I'm talking about, like, 70s, like, some the Stevie Wonders. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean, you put them up against Stevie Wonders. Yeah, that's Wonder, why it's like, yeah. Otis Redding and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets Marvin tough. Marvin Gaye. It gets tough. No, they're, those guys are untouchable. Yeah. But when you put them up against the 80s and 90s, I, th- yeah. I, I think they... I will agree with you for the most part. Yeah. Because, like... The 90s was a little too, like, not... Gay. Yeah, it was like... There's Not two gay. in love. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Usher and them are making songs about like, this is over and I'm sorry. Every the 90s, 90s was like, I love you so much. Please come back to me. Every 90s R&B song went, was the men rubbing their chest yeah. and not stop raining. Like, the, at least these guys were like men who were like, listen, I'm still me. And, yeah. But I, I'm, I, I, I'm in love with you. I'm, fuck, I'm in love with you and I'm fucking up. I'm yeah. sorry. Or like, you broke up with me and now it's savage mode. I'm going out with my boys tonight. You know what else I was kind of thinking of too is... um. We give Kanye a lot of credit for kind of merging 
um, sad and rap, yeah. kind of R&B and rap. I think Diddy was there first, right? Didn't he, wasn't he kind of like the first one to be like, man, I also... Or even maybe I'm thinking, LL did, Cool J? Like but no, the, I think... I think Diddy No, did. it was definitely LL Cool J. Was the first to be like, I'm hard and in love? Yeah, yeah. That's so dope. Yeah. I'm bad and I need was he, love. He was before Diddy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'll, I'll fucking kick your ass yeah. and then go home and kiss Bad my girlfriend. And I need lips. love. Yeah, <laughs> the same song came out of the same man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe it was him then. Yeah. That's dope. His he, I, I read about him once that his mom told, like, told him, or what was it? I don't remember. Something about his name, Hello Cool J. <laughs> his mom told him something once. I don't remember. I wish I could remember stuff. <laughs> his mom, t- I remember, remember LL Cool J, his mom told him something once about his name. <laughs> he, she either she said, told I him to- you James, I'm gonna call you James. I think she told him to do it. Someone told him not to, and she was like, no, you should. Yeah. Something, she gave him good advice. Well, he was like the first Listen rapper. Listen to your mom. He was the first rapper that like, cause before, well, I guess it was always music for like women, because it's party music, you know what I mean? Yeah. If women are dancing, it's a good song, yeah. in my mind, for the most part. Yeah. Uh, but he was the first one that was like, oh no, I'm talking to the ladies. Yeah. Like, fuck the bullshit. I mean- Women. Phenomenal plan. Women buy records too. Yeah, you know? yeah, way more than men. I do love the guys that sing to women. I mean, I don't listen to them because it's like it's not for me. But yeah, they should be sing to me, baby. Brent Fias, sing to me, dog. <laughs> Good God, that's also a problem with R and B now. It's just too much about like the guy being a hoe. You know what I mean? Yeah, but if Brent Fias sang to me, I'd be naked in his room in a heartbeat. <laughs> All right. How can you deny that? Like that dude, that guy. Him singing, he's good to you. He's good. He could sing to any woman and, and bag him. Yeah, you know what I mean. My grandma, I bet he could get. I think she'd have some issues. She would initially, but once <laughs> once he gets you, bro, I don't know. There's something about his voice. It's like yeah. sheesh. Or uh, Daniel Caesar. You know, I was gonna Daniel? say Daniel Caesar. Yeah, that's who I'm thinking of. Yeah, actually. that's and that's yeah. I was like, in my like, mind the whole time, I was like, when, when we're making love. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Who would have thought I get you? And he yeah. opens the album with that yeah. song. <sighs> yeah. And he's so ugly too. It's just it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's he, like beautiful. That's why he's so talented. <laughs> he gets them bitches. No, I uh, I hooked up with a girl once, and uh, we played. What the was whole, his name? Her. We uh, we played the whole album, like four songs, Damn. maybe that three, three and a half. Be the way, phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, so sexy. Cra- yeah, crazy. Just so passionate. Mm. Mm. So. Uh, all right, that's it. That's the episode. <laughs> now that we're horny, yeah. we gotta go. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we have to go. We there's something we have to do. Yeah. Uh, we can't. Uh, I I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> cold shower. Cold shower. Cold shower. <laughs> um, stay humble, everyone. Peace, y'all. See you next week.